Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 121 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle, my sir. Today... Oh yes, I do have a bit of business. I went to some map or other. I got a Ramiyasishi, of all things. I think it was just sitting around. Ah, oh, no, it was a reward. Yes. For one of my accomplishments yes. in that map. And I captured a few items. Ah, this was the first one. And then these three came from the second map. Oh, and look, four stars. Great. Three star constructs. Farewell, Mimic. You know we loved you, but... Well, there's no way to meaningfully interact with you anymore. Okay, that's my business in the castle. Now we wait. While we wait, we're going to go here. For one thing, I want a ground dragon... skin. And there's a empty objective that I didn't wasn't able to accomplish before. You may recall this map. It had a couple of invincible fortresses sitting here and here when we assaulted it the first time. But now we can actually clear it with 100% and get a trivial quantity of gold out of it. So, I'll be cutting now, and I will see you in a few. Alright, I got it complete. I wanted to get some true pearl stone out of this, but it's still too rare a drop in this particular map. Oh, look at that. Rishon Tseli has a sex scene for us. But let's see this expansion of the castle. Oh great, another one! What's this one require? Plated Earth Dragon Skins and Rainbow Magic String. Yes. Goody goody. Oh yeah, I didn't see this yet in my trial runs due to that dragon not dropping what I needed it to. Okay, this time we've gotten to another point where we've finished expanding the castle grounds. Oh, Rosaline has something to say. Okay, Rosaline. I'll be done in just a little bit, so wait a moment. She's looking forward to it. Hmm. So, it seems there will be new groups of people who will be passing through this area now. Yeah, I'll do your best. So, following that, Rosaline just watches over him as he works. Yeah, these castle expansion scenes aren't much to speak for. <laughs> ah, Rishu, you're hilarious. But, oh man, what am I going to do with all this space? Hmm. Let's see, do I have any more of these? Yes. I could expand my dodge rate. Or I could place a whole bunch of these box formations. Adding to HPSP fatigue. I still can't make one of the hook formations. Although I can make a, a lightning formation. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Well, to start with... Actually, pull you out. I'm going to move all my squares over to here because there's more space for them. I think this change of formation will afford me like two extra instances of this formation. For a total of six 
HP and oh what two fatigue and spell points Most of these don't have any really interesting effects, do they? So now, just for fun, a lightning. Huh, actually, I could place two, probably. No, that's not the one. Fortune teller, there it is. Actually, I want to point something interesting out about this. Notice this has a zigzag, but it doesn't work like this. It only works that kind of zigzag. So it's not symmetric. Probably in order to keep you from abusing it. And now we placed our four windmills and we get two instances of the zigzag. Interesting, each instance gives a half of a luck. So it takes two to make one luck. But we get two speed out of it. So that'll work. Still nothing else we want to do. Yeah, let's just put down a couple more trees. Can't go wrong with trees. And... Oh, fine, Rishu. So, Avaro is going in Farodriaros, the town, and he spots Rishu. Well, even though her name's been stricken from the roster of the Fuchsia Holy Knights, she wants to prove that her value still is not changed. And so her declaration is pretty... Well, it's very Rishu-like. But in any case, what she's doing is wandering around with the townspeople. Well, you're having fun, aren't you? Oh, so her first line meant that she didn't actually notice Avaro, and this is her noticing. Well, she's so glad that she came, that he came to see her. This must be love, right? This conversation's kind of flown off too fast already. Anyway, Havaro's just here to see the town. And as usual, she flies off on a tangent. Or even things that aren't tangent. Anyway, she's been wandering the town, speaking with the elves and all. But, the elves who are speaking with her appear to be wanting to avoid Avara, so they shrug their shoulders and wander off. <laughs> anyway, Rishu's kind of amazing, Avara says. After all, you've gotten melted into the town so quickly. Well, even if it does take some time, efforts do eventually produce fruit. Yeah, and she wants to say she hasn't given up on Avaro yet. Alright, I'll bear that in mind. 
Well, since we happen to meet here, why don't we have a walk a bit together? <laughs> After all, if Avaro's with Rishu, he doesn't have to be so wary. <laughs> well, she'd be happy to. And, of course, the people of the town will probably think we're on a date. Huh. I suppose so. They might see it like that. <laughs> of course they will. Well, she's really happy to be wandering around with Avaro, so... They enjoyed the scenery for a while. So, you're always a big help, Rishu. What's this all of a sudden? Well, I've always said it before. No, it was Rishu who said it before. That in the name of the ruler of Raroso, she would wander around the town spreading Fia's name. And it, bit by bit, she, they have gotten used to us. And it's because Rishu's been working so hard doing this. So, regarding everything, Avaro wanted to thank her. So, is that so? To hear them say that once again, she's uh, kind of blushing here. Ha. Huh. To see Risha actually blushing, you know, honestly, is kind of fresh. But it's true that we're gr that I'm grat uh, that I am grateful. So go ahead and uh, accept my gratitude. Well, in addition, she helps out with the company business and is a big help in particular in the explorations. Yeah, in this last exploration she got level 33, which is why we have a scene with her. And even while she is still the ruler of Rao Rosso, way down south, she's an ally who's always on the front lines. <laughs> so, thank you very much. That's a good way of accepting a compliment. So that's her response as she's still blushing. When she acts like this, she's actually kind of cute, Avaro thinks. Although usually she says one or two things too much and kind of ruins it. Oh, hey! Honorary human, it's good to see you. So she recognizes Avaro. Says it's good to see him again today. Yeah, he thought he would go wandering about the town. Hey, this is the person we got along well with because of the windmill we replaced. In case you had forgotten. And she still does get along well with the humans on account of, you know, doing business with the pilgrims and all. So, according to her observation, it seems that we're looking for something useful we can do. Well, since Avaro wanders around doing stuff like that, before problems get big, we'll be able to fix them. So, thanks for that. Heh. <laughs> oh, Rish is thinking that someone else is falling for Avaro now. Huh. Rish your logic. There you go. So, 
<laughs> she kind of mutters this to herself and gives that unhappy expression. So, Risha wants to suggest that she's gotten a bit tired and the two of them should go find some private place where they can talk in quiet, talk in peace. <laughs> in that case, why don't we use this elf's place? She'll make it cheap for us. Well, thank you very much. Let's go, Avaro. Uh, Rishu, don't just decide these things on your own. I still want to do this walk around. It will be fine like this. There's no reason to hurry, so she is going to accept your accompaniment. Yeah, that's how she does things. So she grabs his arm and drags him away. He looks at her face. And basically she's not asking for permission and wandering off like a storm as usual. But she's trying to charm him with one of her smiles. In any case, they get to the inn and the lady shows them their room. So here we are. Go into your room. So it's a nice place. And yes. Please. All right, here. Take your time. <laughs> oh. So we ended up borrowing, renting a room, go up some stairs, and the two of them are in a room together. All right then, Avaro. I trust you're prepared for this. Hmm, I suppose so. What the hell kind of situation is this? Avaro, you can't be that stupid, can you? Hmm, so as soon as we get in the room, she strips out of her armor and has a, lays down on the bed. With, oh, one of those gazes at Avaro. So, don't act like you don't know. It's time for Avaro here to fulfill his second promise. So, the way Rishu usually acts is kind of melting away here in private. And her voice has got that kind of reaction to it. So, she says when we cleaned up that problem with her house, you remember that old relative of hers? Avoro said something to her that the time to connect had come. Oh, flashback time. This was regarding that second ruler of Rao Rosso, who managed to be so evil that he turned into a demon or something. And at the end of it, Risha was so exhausted she basically collapsed in his arms. At the time, she said, have you fallen for me? And he said, yeah, so stop talking. So yeah, she was happy. Ah yes, then she even said that it was time for Avaro to fulfill his second promise. So yeah, the promise was that 
when Avara fell for her, you know, sex would happen. And at the time, well, you remember, she passed out and had a delirious hallucination of having sex with Avaro, but they didn't actually do it. In any case, Oh yeah, this is the recap of what happened there. So, you've been holding on to that this whole time? Well, that's a rude way of putting it. And now, as before, she holds the same emotions she had, so... <laughs> oh, this reminds me of a part of a scene in Himegari. But anyway, she says that you can boil her or fry her. And wouldn't you like to do anything you like? That's a weird way of saying it, you. So she's still kind of embarrassed and quivering there. Now Alvaro understands completely what's going on here, but he's thinking that he can't really step in. What a dickless tweed. He is thinking that no matter how much she's into this, He's wondering if he's good enough to answer the call, so to speak. Now she says that Avaro can continue to love Fia as he does. She's not asking him to change his heart for her. So what she wishes for is one thing. That Avaro should take her, not in a dream as before, but in reality. Oh, this is corny. Huh. So in her continuing memories, she wants to have an impression of, our, of Avaro's existence. And no matter what, something that won't change, that she can think of as a reward forever. So she just wants to love him. And that is all. Is that really okay? Jeez. Jeez, after Rishu here has said all of that, he still doesn't embrace her. He really is the worst. I agree. Alright. Hearing all of this from her, he's finally made up his mind. About time. So, it's time to respond to her requests. So, with complete respect for her and everything, he draws in and does all the stuff. And here I'm going to cut. I'll see you in a moment. And that was the result. So, afterwards, as soon as she woke up from her nap, the two of them departed the Wii Inn. Avaro was still kind of feeling, you know, that heavy drowsy feeling in his body. And he was planning on resting a bit more, but Rishu, well, wouldn't allow it. Well, we were originally doing our rounds in the town, so if we don't get back to it, the day will end on us. 
約束をすべて果たしていただきましたから我が主のためアバロのために私の力を発揮できる場所で発揮しなくてはなりませんそう、so、more than anything Now that the promises have been fulfilled, Forfia, and as well as for Alvaro, Rishu here is going to do everything she can wherever she can do it. Okay, then. Thank you for that. So, Rishu, as before, from now on, thanks for everything. <laughs> So, even if you don't thank her, anyway, leave it to her. So, with that invincible smile of her, she exchanges a firm handshake with him. All right, then. So, that's that. This next one appears to be, I've seen like the first two lines of it, a summons to the Holy Accords. So, the plot has finally come time to advance. I would kind of like to get some true pearl stone and some gold powder so I can build that other thing and blah blah blah, but for now we're going to be saving and quitting and next time we'll be continuing with the plot. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.